Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Nakamura card to review today. If you guys haven't checked out the review from Mura, we are also going to be uploading that to the YouTube channel as well. So with Nakamura, we're taking a look at a card who is uh, five foot ten, high low work rates, left footed. Cool. He's left footed too, EA? I respect it. I respect it, man. I really do. I respect it. Uh, high low work rates left footed four star skills three star weak foot so with a card like this uh the main positions that i see him being used in is obviously in the cam area but it's also in that striker area too because high low work rates should be very interesting to work with when it comes to him uh player traits he does have the finesse shot trait it's good to have the finesse shot trait but it's for me i don't like using a player that doesn't have the weak foot on the right side for me to be able to hit finesse shots. Does that make sense? Like, it's just not something that I personally prefer myself. Uh, In-game attributes. Uh, that's a hunter, I think. Yeah, this one looks like a hunter. Let's see. So on a hunter, that's what most people are giving him. Hunter chemistry style will be boosting the pace to a 98-95. And then the shooting is going to be in the 90s with 85 attacking positioning. Okay, so let's go ahead and slap a nice little hunter on this bad boy. Hunter on him. Cool beans, cool beans. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Pace boost, shooting boost, should work out. Long shots is at a 90 as well, so his finesse shots could actually be really good. How tall is he again? 5'10", what body type? Body type is a lean body type. Interesting. He has an 84 stamina too, so you can actually use him in the side positions as well if it works out. Base card stats for passing is phenomenal on this card as well. Dribbling is the thing that you have to work with, but he does have a lean body type. So a lean body type with those dribbling stats could actually be okay. Defensive stats are not really there. And then for physical, he has 84 stamina with 74 for strength. The card, the card looks pretty cool for what it is, to be honest. It does look cool for what it is, especially for that nice little tripling setup up top. What we're going to be doing, guys, is we are going to be using the 4-4-2 tactics. Uh, we're going to be using Nakamura and Miura at the same time. Uh, to kind of test him up top. Mira, Nakamura. Yeah, because Nakamura left side is going to make sense. I might actually switch them in game since I'm trying both of them out. Stay central, come back in defense. The strong foot and the strong side is always like usually a personal preference of mine. But obviously for the review, we might have to switch them to kind of test out certain things. But uh, yeah, we'll use them in the 4-4-2 and we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Nakamura's high-low work rates are super noticeable. Ball roll, touch. I should have probably just shot that right away, huh? Yeah, his high lows is very, very noticeable. I'm liking that so far. Giyu, I have to switch the your your pitch, man, because if this is like Spurs of Stadium, like Spurs of Stadium just is going to blind me. Oh, I red-timed that. The animation I thought was uh, going to be a little bit faster right there, and it wasn't. That was so weird. That one was a white time shot. Yeah, you have to like once you get used to like the way that he uh, animates himself to shoot the ball, a little bit different. Ball roll. His dribbling, guys, honestly, is not that bad. I don't mind it at all. You know why? Because of the lean body type. Lean body type is actually pretty noticeable so far. Oh, he misses that, eh? He misses that without me timing it. He misses that without me tying it. But you're noticing the uh, the attacking AI so far in the card for sure. He's definitely making those runs. Yeah, I don't mind his dribbling, man. His stats I thought was going to be a little bit more of a problem, but it's actually not because of the lean body type. Green time shot on that one too. Yeah, the animations are a little bit different, so you have to kind of like time it a little differently. Very noticeable work rates. You can see that with his high-low work rates, he's very aggressive. So it's good, man. It's kind of like, uh, like if you use that in the cam position, it would actually work out really well too. So secondary striker, fantastic. Cam position would be great. I love that aggressive attacking AI. 
See, quick. I'm going to pass this off here. He's going to work with his face here. I'm going to force this. Let's see what happens. Oh, so get it. Oh, if Mira's pass was better there, man. Nakamura was in, in pretty good space. Oh, hello. Beauty. Beauty. Mm, I try to green that too. It didn't even hit a white because that's how late I was there. But that was fantastic, bro. Like I said, guys, his uh, his body type being lean is compensating really well for his dribbling in game. Like on a hunter, he's performing really well. Oh, it's a good pass. It's a good pass. But I'm telling you guys, man, he sees those. Uh, he sees that empty space. Did I get it? Oh, let's go. We will take that. Nicely done. On a white, eh? On a white, he actually hits that nice. The finesse shot trait's kind of noticeable on him. Oh. Oh, and I almost scored that. No way. No timing on that one. Facing away from the goal, too. It's good to test those angles with him. Oh, let's go! What a lob pass and what a header. Miura, my boy. Nice pass. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. See that run? I, I, everything that's happening around me, I'm not even paying attention to. I just need to see that run that he makes right there, which is brilliant. He adjusts pretty quickly there, man. That adjustment was awesome. Try to pass from here with a law pass. Am I going to get the one touch there? Uh, it was it was really well weighted. Like Those are passes that you don't really usually do. But man, his this card is actually... He's pretty sick, man. Oh. Oh, well-weighted pass right to his feet, too. Oh, yeah. His first time touch there on the left stick was really good from the driven. Nice. Again. Listen, offside, but look at that first touch under pressure. You know what I mean? Oh, it's supposed to be a croquetta. Gotta be a croquetta, EA. Come on. That skill move, they gotta they they gotta do something to it, man, because it's like it happens way too often from like ball rolls and stuff. Oh. It was a good run, man. Sun did a really good pass right there. I actually could have got that. I'm telling you guys, bro, this Nakamura card is actually pretty solid to use. He's not bad, bro. Mira? At least he's positioned well for that shot. <laughs> That's how we're using him on the finisher right now. Ooh. Look at that strike, man. No timing on that whatsoever. I try to, but uh, like the animations, I got to get used to the, the green for him, you know? Yeah, his lean body type is good. You can It's good to test out like the roulette's touch immediately. Stuff like that's amazing. Like even there on the driven pass, guys, like it's a bad driven pass to me because of the defensive pressure there. Touch, go. Oh, that was so weird. I was trying to like do some small little left stick touches. But guys, even still with the amount of players around him, he still left stick touched really well right there. On a white again. Oh, and he still hits it really nicely. That was a great shot again. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Nakamura card. So in regards to how this card performs in game, guys, we gave him the Hunter chemistry style because of the way that it is formatted with 
the dribbling stats that he has and the base card stats that he has for passing. Now, what's funny about this whole situation is that uh, for the FIFA community, obviously, uh, Miura is more hyped because of Danny Aarons and the meme content that he makes on the Miura card. But generally speaking, guys, this Nakamura card is 10 times, 100 times, a million times better than that Miura card. 100%, man. But the fact that they released both of these cards into one SBC is great because you can work with a really cool triple link setup. Because, guys, this card on a Hunter chemistry style, he actually has a really good high-low work rate. His high-low work rate allows him to get across the pitch really nicely. This is definitely the type of card that you can pretty much use in any of the attacking positions, depending on the tactics and formations that you're using. But for me personally, a card like this playing in the cam position, in the secondary striker position, is definitely going to be very ideal because like I said, the way that he moves across the pitch is actually really nice. And the way that his dribbling is set up in game with the lean body type, I guess because of the 96 composure and stuff too, like you can tell that when he has the ball at his feet, he doesn't really often lose possession of the ball from you know, his own capabilities. It's not like, you know, his dribble or his composure is letting him down in certain cases. It's literally just like controls and me trying to like get past defenders in certain ways, right? So you notice that on multiple occasions, his shooting guys on a Hunter chemistry style actually comes off really, really nicely. His attacking positioning, I don't mind at all because his high-low work rate is actually a pretty decent one. Now, obviously I prefer, you know, the flashback Benzema's high-low work rates, but his high-low work rates is actually a really good one to work with, guys. And the fact that he has 84 stamina to pre pretty much use him in any of the positions is definitely very, very cool as well. So for me, guys, this Nakamura card is actually a really, really decent SBC. I think he's like the first squad that you unlock, right? For 26K, no, for 45K, it's so funny how he's more expensive because they know that the Nakamura card is way better. Ah, it's funny. Hey, listen. If you can get the link to Nakata in the future and you want to do something like that, the card is really cool to get, man. For 45k, you genuinely can't go wrong. It's literally just the links that you have to work with, right? Uh, with Miura, we're going to review him right after this one. But guys, with Nakamura, he impressed me, man. He played way better than I thought he would. But it still makes sense to the stats that he has because the high composure, the mid-80s, high-80s for dribbling with the lean body type is super, super noticeable in-game for this card. So, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this vi uh, video today. I'm going to go ahead and review the Mira card next. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.